stop by the Zoom booth because I wanted to tell a story about the Zoom H2 that I got many years ago and uh, Donald Burr showed me how to use it as a uh, USB microphone. I made the silliest little video in my bathroom of how to do this and it's one of my most viewed videos. So uh, the Zoom products are fantastic. These are uh, small recorders and uh, I'm here in the Zoom booth with Ross Hornbuckle to talk about what they have that's new since I've last been by. Yeah, thanks. You know, we've had a couple of new things. We've grown from the H2, same basic philosophy, still handheld portable recorders. Uh, now we've got something like the H5, where you'll have a stereo mic included, but now they're modular. So it can be an XY mic or the mid-side mic you see here. We've got a number of accessories you can use as well. So if you just need two additional XLR inputs or a shotgun microphone, a bunch of different things now that you can plug in straight to the top of the H5. Okay, let me let me Plus show this off the back. before you do that. Turn this and, and pull it pull it off again. Show him the connector. So it's got looks like a proprietary connector it there. It is a proprietary connector, so but, you do need to use our Zoom accessories with it. Oh, but that's fine. But yes. I just want to show how that worked. Yeah. So he's pulling the top of this off right now. It's got kind of a little ball mic on top. What is that called? Yeah, so this is a stereo mic. It's a mid-side. It's, it's a microphone technique. So uh, XY would be sort of a, a fixed stereo capture. So you've got, let's say, a 90-degree stereo image or 120-degree stereo image. So that's getting me and you, but nothing else? Right, right. It's, it's really taking a left-right sample of, uh, of your audio landscape. What a mid-side technique is going to do is uh, still a stereo image, but it's going to allow you to define how wide or how narrow your stereo image is and you can do that live in real time or in post if you'd like Wow, so now there's a bunch of but buttons and dials on the front of these crazy things here. Sure, it is still as easy as ever to operate, so uh, simply uh, select which channels you want to record enable. So in this case, I've just selected the, the left-right mic, that's whatever's plugged in on top. So you can see there we've got, we've got signal. Uh, from there, all I need to do is hit record, and if I've got additional microphones plugged in, I just need to activate those channels as well. I can provide phantom powers if I'm using a uh, high quality shotgun condenser microphone or if I'm just plugging in the output of a, of a wireless system like what we're using here today, um, I can plug it in straight in as well. Wow, and what you're going to get from the H5 to the H6 is simply more additional inputs. So those are all XLR on the sides, right? Yes. So here with the H6 I've got same thing, modular uh, stereo mic inputs but also now four additional as opposed to two additional inputs on the H5. I, I'm sure that the uh, audio inputs are better, the microphones are better, everything's better, but my favorite thing is that you can read the display now. <laughs> yes, yes, absolutely, you can read the display. So. The reason I recorded in the bathroom was so there was enough light that I could see that display. Yep, we, we, we heard you loud and clear uh, years ago, and, and especially with the H6 now, really meant to be mounted on top of your DSLR, uh, now with the screen tilted down so you can see it when it's coming off the back of your camera. Oh, very cool. I didn't even notice that that's mounted on the DSLR. So now I'm looking at the H5. It appears to have a roll bar on the front. Why is there a roll bar over those dials? Yes, uh, the gain knobs stay active while recording. Uh, so that's a, a little extra protection in case you accidentally bump the knobs. Uh, we don't want you to adjust your gain setting that was set specifically uh, for a, a, a talker or whatever your audio source was. That absolutely sounds like something I would do. So Yeah, and, and you know, that's trying to speak to two different communities. The broadcast folks uh, don't like that, but uh, the live music folks like to be able to fine-tune gain uh, throughout a recording, so uh, we're trying to appeal to two different uh, groups of people. So how much is an H5 uh, handy recorder here without, say, without the mic on top? Uh, sure, well it's going to come with the mic, oh, that's the good news. Oh, okay. It's going to come with both the XY and the mid-side uh, for $269.99. Are you kidding? I just assume I was going to say, and this isn't for my audience, but that's amazing. <laughs> that's with both of them. Yes, and and same, uh, so with the H6 is $399, um, and again, you're getting the two additional inputs there, so. That's nuts. It's I really thought I was not... looking at a couple thousand dollar thing, seriously. No, no, not not quite. <laughs> and this records onto a, uh, an SD card, right? Yes, both are standard SD cards. Very cool. Well, thank you very much for your time, and no how problem. would people find out more about Zoom? Uh, Zoom-NA.com is our website online, and uh, check us out. Thank you very much. Thank you.